grabbing objects, throwing them at enemies, blowing them up, and slicing them in half. Now that's one hell of a weapon. And today, we're recreating the gravity gun from Half-Life 2 in this new episode of Games Dissected. Of course, the gravity gun's main function is to grab and throw physics objects. But that's not the fun part. The fun part is that each object behaves in a different and unique way. And in this video, I will demo the modular system that I built for this gravity gun. Now, this will be a quick demo as the full implementation was way too detailed to put on YouTube. But if you want step-by-step -step instructions, the blueprint setup, the animations, and all the juicy implementation details, that's waiting for you on my Patreon. Now, let's start with the core. I built a custom pull and push actor component that handles the logic for grabbing an object and throwing it. We detect the objects in front of us by doing a sphere trace, then using Unreal Engine's physics handle component, we can easily pull and grab that object. And to push it, we add an impulse to that object in the direction that the camera is facing. But this is the easy part. The hard part is assigning behaviors to the objects, like barrels explode, saw blades slice enemies, blunt objects kill them. So how do we implement this system? Well, the answer is through inheritance and interfaces. First, I created an interface for any grabbable object to implement these four functions that will define what happens when the object is pulled, pushed, released, or it hits something. Then I created a grabbable base actor that will be the parent of all grabbable objects so we can create children out of it. Now, back in our actor component, when we pull or push or release an object, we just get the actor that this object belongs to and call the interface function for on pull, on push, and on release. And with this setup, we are ready to add different objects, each with their own unique implementations of these interface functions. But before creating our first child of this actor, we need enemies to kill. So I created a simple enemy character that can walk around and can die with a ragdoll effect. And with that, we are ready to create our first grabbable child actor to kill our enemy, which is our blunt grabbable. This actor extends the on hit event that's in the parent class and just calls kill if it hits an enemy. And this is what it looks like. This is the baseline mechanic for our gravity gun. Simple, but super satisfying. Now let's fire things up with some explosions. I created the explosive grabbable, which is a child of the base grabbable. And when it hits anything, it spawns an explosion actor that kills any enemies in the area and adds a radial force to push away physics objects. And it can also cause chain reactions like this. If you want a very detailed tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions on how to build all of this, including all my custom-made assets, you can find all of that and much, much more on my Patreon. Check it out and you would be supporting me a lot by doing so. All right, explosives, check, enemies flying everywhere. That's already very satisfying, but there's one object that might be even more fun, the saw blade. It doesn't just knock enemies back, it slices them in half. But I'm gonna delay that a tiny bit to go do something just as exciting. Adding our gravity gun itself with animations, visual effects, and sound effects. I got a rigged gravity gun mesh from Sketchfab thanks to the creator Elite Large Cameraman. Then I created my own animations for it to open and close, which really helps sell the feeling that the gun is active and is responsible for grabbing these objects. Next, I added some sparks when the gun is active and created a simple beam effect that is shot out when an object is fired or pushed. These elements are essential for player feedback to be able to see what the gun is actually doing. Finally, I added some sound effects for when an object is picked up and when an object is fired. And again, if you want all these assets and step-by-step -step instructions on how to build them, it's all available on my Patreon. 
All right, and now I'm ready to show you the saw blade in action. To do this, I created a new grabbable child class for the saw blade, and I add angular momentum to it when it's pushed so that it spins around its up vector. Then when it overlaps an actor, it calls a slice function, which I implemented on the enemy actor. So how does this slice function work exactly? I added two extra meshes to the enemy and using a neat animation trick, I can remove parts of the mesh. So now I can control separately the upper and lower body parts. And at the exact moment the saw blade overlaps with the enemy, I reveal these two meshes and add some radial force and some blood splatter, and then it all looks flawless and incredibly satisfying to do. And one more thing, just because I love to procrastinate my actual work by building random things, I made this playground with three mini games for each grabbable object. The only objective is to kill all the enemies with the provided object. It's very chaotic. I also made some cool reusable spawners for the enemy and the objects, which I think look pretty cool. And of course, this is all available in the project files if you'd like to download them. Now to recap, I implemented an actor component that handles the functionality for grabbing and throwing objects. I implemented a base grabbable that doesn't do anything when grabbed or thrown, but handles default functionality. Then I added a blunt grabbable that kills enemies when it hits them by extending the on hit functionality from the parent class. And then I added explosive grabbable that explodes when it hits anything after being thrown. And it does so by also extending the on hit functionality as well. And finally, the saw blade grabbable, which extends the on push functionality to spin the blade when pushed, overrides the overlap functionality to slice the enemy in half when it overlaps with them. So you can see that by using actor components to abstract the interactions, using inheritance to extend the behavior, and using interfaces to enforce the structure, I just built a scalable and modular system for my gravity gun that easily allows me to add new objects with unique behaviors. These methods are the building blocks of any good system, not just a gravity gun. And I encourage you to think how to build your own systems using these same patterns. And finally, one more call out to my Patreon as the full video took me ages to make and is filled with a lot of incredible learnings. I would be very grateful if you signed up and watched the full video. I guarantee you will learn a lot of new things. And if not, just message me and I'll give you a full refund. That's it for this video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Wait, 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 before you go, let's, let's watch this barrel throw together. It's very suspenseful. Oh no, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Okay. It's gonna land, it's gonna land. Yes. Uh, that was fun.